Greetings, all of you out there in YouTube land. This is Morgan Freeman, and I'm going to attempt to be playing the Salvation Development Program used to simulate the card game known as Yu-Gi-Oh. I have found, I have found a person named Kuro Kyo, a very Japanese-sounding name if there ever was one. I have decided to play him in a duel. We shall wait. We, first, we shall play rock, paper, scissors to determine the order in which someone will play. It appears we have reached a stalemate repeatedly, and I have won. I shall elect to go first. As you can clearly see, I am playing the deck known as Super Heavy Samurai. This particular deck excels at not having any spells or traps within my graveyard. So I this in this build it is simply all monsters. It seems my opponent is playing a type of deck involving creatures of the water variety. And he is placing a card face down, which is very interesting. I shall summon this gentleman right here since I have no spells or traps in my graveyard. So, in response, I shall normally he would be useful and he would be all that I would require to summon this newer, stronger monster. But I plan on using this arrow looking gentleman his effect to search my deck as well as Big Ben K. Now for those of you who are unaware Big Ben K is based off a swordsman of the same name from Japanese lore. And so I shall begin I shall take this opportunity to attack him. Let us see what he is playing. He is playing Firehand, which is a very interesting card. And he is playing Ice Hand. So, I shall leave it at that and end my turn. Since I have nothing on my field, he will more than likely attack me directly, severely reducing the amount of life points that I have from 8,000 to a significantly lesser number. Ouch. That hurt very much indeed. So, I believe this will be my plan. First, I will summon Super Heavy Samurai Scales. His ability allows me to bring forth yet another Super Heavy Samurai from my grave. I believe Soul Piercer will fit that regard in that, in that regard. Then, I'm not finished. I shall special summon my trumpeter from my hand. You see, this gentleman here is what they call a tuner monster. Using a tuner, I am able to summon a much stronger monster. Behold, Super Heavy Samurai Susanna Wall. And since I've sent Soul Piercer to the graveyard, I am now able to initiate his effect. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. This fine gentleman will make for an excellent adage to my collection. And to further, and let us see what he has in his graveyard. Nothing of note. But still, to further add to this, I shall activate Soul Piercer and equip him to my Susanna Roll giving him the ability known as trampling. And I shall activate soul beads as well. Soul beads is particularly useful in rendering, in rendering him immune to destruction card effects. I shall attack his face down. And it was a penguin soldier.
I see. Hmm. In this case, I believe this card is the most suitable replacement for the cards that I have lost. I shall go to my main phase two and set this fine gentleman on the field. Now my opponent has many options available to him, but it, appear, it appears to me he is playing foolish burial to send something to the graveyard, up which was a penguin soldier. He is now bringing penguin soldier and nightmare penguin back to his hand. More than likely, he is going to attack me. Oh, and he is going to shuffle them into his deck to gain significant draw advantage. And now, legendary fisherman. Normally, he will require a tribute. But now, he is summoning another legendary fisherman to banish my card. The situation does not favor well for myself. But let us see if we cannot fix that. I shall special summon this bad boy. Hmm. Allow me to peruse his special ability. Hmm. In that case, I believe I shall activate his effect to destroy. No, I do not wish to set his card. I do believe that this event will end in my untimely defeat. His pot of duality allows him to look at the top three cards of his deck. And he is going to use that card to search out for another field spell. He does not have the ability to special summon this turn, but it does not matter as it will allow him to still attack me with impunity. If I am unable to draw the significant card I need this turn, I am done for. I shall set this face down, and I shall conclude my turn. Let us see what my opponent has to bring to the table. And he brings out Penguin Soldier, which was not good for myself. And now he shall attack me directly, leading to his victory. And that was my attempt at playing the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. I did significantly well with the, with the deck archetype known as Super Heavy Samurai. If you are enjoying this video, please like comment and subscribe to the channel of the man Shin Tiger Curl. If you wish to support him in his endeavors, please make please click upon any of the and all advertisements around here for they are add to his revenue. Or even donate yourself directly and donate directly out of the goodness of your heart. So until the next video, this has been Morgan Freeman playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Good day, and Godspeed.